Nearly a year after the first lockdown and people are still flocking to Raynham's country park every day for fresh air and exercise. The unfortunate side effect of the increased footfall has been more litter, which is where the local community has set up rotas to help keep Raynham clean. Liz O'Hanlon and Kayleigh Ward set up the Eco Hub Raynham and part of their role is identifying what the rubbish is and how to clear it. Well, I mean, there's two, there's two schools of thought here. So the broken window theory explores um, if people in the community are dropping litter and if your, lit if your town looks littered, um, then the suggestion is, is that you're more likely yourself to drop litter. So there's a piece of work around making the town as tidy, presentable and as clean as possible in the first place to try and break that cycle. There's also another school of thought, which is that people drop litter um, for various reasons. Um, but one of the um, thoughts is around people not feeling a connection to their community or where they live. Um, so for us, um, championing, it, championing um, Love Raynham, love where you live, um, exploring, taking responsibility and ownership for your community. In turn, it's believed that the, the data behind it appears to show that people will drop less litter if they care about where they live. The way people socialise within lockdown rules appears to be affecting the rubbish produced. There are more disposable cups, takeaways and of course masks. Raynham Litter Heroes is another group to set up spontaneously and have made a noticeable difference to areas like Myers Court Road. Um, obviously with lockdown at the moment um, we can't really get out um, and it's more of encouraging people on your daily walk uh, while in your safe um, household bubble to, um, if you can, get a litter picker and pick up um, litter safely as you go. At Raynham Recreation Ground, personal trainer Rebecca MacDonald puts Jo Bourne through her paces every week. Their New Year resolution was to end their session with a litter pick. You know, it's a park what all of us use. We use it with our families. I use it for PT. I know there are other PTs as well that come and use the park. And it's just really important to us that the area is nice and clean. There's nothing worse than you doing your workout and you're looking around at what can actually be done. I think for us it is, we can't solve the, it feels like we can't solve the problem of why people drop the litter, but It'd be nice if when we arrive there isn't so much litter, so it doesn't feel... I feel like every time I come to the park that I can hear people going, oh god, all that litter, you know, this place is a dump type thing. And I just think that even if we pick the litter up, so for the next two hours, everybody that arrives doesn't see the litter, then there's going to be some sort of momentum. According to the Eco Hub, there's no sign that the volunteer litter pickers are losing their enthusiasm for the task helped by the momentum and focus provided by the support groups. Now it's grown and there's a lot more people being able to get behind it um, and to be able to shine a light on the issues that are actually presented to us in Raynham, um, people now have got a space to be able to do something about it and have a voice. The litter picking groups focus on community action and the power of the individual. They go and collect litter in their area and hope to arrange litter picking events. Anyone who would like to help is encouraged to get in touch. Sandy Fleming for Raynham News.